I got all this money now. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome to a Dayton Dissects of Punch Club. A really cool uh, fighting, I guess, simulator, time management slash fighting simulator. It's not too bad, all things considered. Um, there's a few places to visit. We got my friend Roy's house, the mansion where I live. I used to have my own house around here, but I got signed to a contract, and uh, now I can't fight with Tyler Durden. There's all kinds of cool references and stuff like that. Um, work, you can go to the construction site to make money. There's also the cafe, um, but it won't build your stats. It'll pay you less. Uh, I believe it also takes less time. So that's good. The gym is where you'll start training before you get uh, some stuff in your house. You come down to the warehouse, you can get in some ultimate fights, uh, which also might break your arm or concuss your brain and fuck up your stat gain uh, because all of your stats atrophy over time, which is super unfortunate, but it's also what makes the game a game. Um, so the bigger your stat is, the harder it is to maintain it. As you can see, I've got a strength of 5, an agility of 18, and a stamina of 12. Um, generally, you'll want to aim for 1 primarily, and then have a secondary, and then the last one is just kind of, kind of whatever. If it goes, uh, down to 3, I'm really not even that, that concerned with it, because the agility is so high that, uh, I'm dodging everything that's thrown at me. Grocery store, you can buy some stuff, um, but really once you get in the mansion, you don't have to worry about it. The first half of the game is totally a grind though. Uh, sporting goods store, you can buy some potions to increase your stats. Uh, you can also buy equipment to put in your garage, which is pretty cool. Chinatown, come down here, spend 70 bucks, which is a freaking lot in the early game. Uh, and it'll heal you of a brain injury or whatever... Whatever fucked you up in the fighting arena. Um, got the bar. That's where I can go hang out with Tyler Durden. But he doesn't like me since I got all this money now. And uh, the Cafe Street is where you'll go to meet the Don. Who is part of the plot and all. Well, let's have a look inside the gym. Regardless, uh, you can get some food. You need to watch your food and energy and happiness meters. Uh, and they will all be drained over time. Especially while working out. Um, but time doesn't move unless you do something, so just walking around in the gym luckily uh, isn't ticking away on my time. I can do some jumpy, jumpy ropes and that'll increase my stamina and my agility. Probably one of this guy's favorites uh, to do. And then eventually you'll get smaller portions of the bubble filled and that's when you want to stop um, because you don't want to waste, yeah. So that, that didn't give me full experience for that. So um, he, he's tired of the jump rope. You gotta wait for a little bit. <laughs> uh, in addition to all this training and stuff, you've also got skill trees. Oh my god, skill trees! I went way of the tiger, which is the agility base. Turtle is stamina, bear is strength. Uh, but you do start with your basic skills and kind of choose your way from there. You won't lose strength below four. Super useful. Um, it kind of all builds in with the the stat that you pick way of the bear and obviously I get this uh, active skill just come around this way so way of the bear uh, basically is about taking a bunch of hits and then you swing on the opponent and if you hit them you will devastate them uh, but it's really hard to hit opponents I had a strength character that didn't really work out I guess because agility was too low uh, but yeah, you also need the stamina because the bigger your strength is, the more, uh, stamina you need during a fight. Let's actually go, let's, let's go to this fight. We're gonna do it. And then I'm gonna cut back before it goes all fucking crazy. Um, so yeah, you can see he's got 14 strength, 12 agility, 19, um, stamina, and then you've got your loadout for the fight. So, uh, each of these moves has a stamina cost, which is shown up here. Each of you... Each turn you regen some stamina, which is shown here. If you run out of stamina during the fight, you'll get knocked on your ass and hit for like a ton of damage. And that is kind of the style that I've gone for with this guy. We've got uh, quite a few attacking moves and then the strike modifier. So basically I'm, I'm wearing down his blocking. So it, every time he blocks, it takes stamina. 
Uh, so I'm just going to basically try to drain him by raining blows, and hopefully my agility will be enough to overcome him. Spoilers, it probably will. <laughs> Unless something goes horribly wrong with the RNG. So yeah, pretty badass game that we're looking at right here. 45 damage, holy shit, son. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Yeah, see, I'm just uh, getting him super winded because I do have that ability that just lets me wait for uh, a round and regain my stamina. You get it really, really early on. Skip attacks, and it's probably one of the things I would suggest, especially if you go for strength. But uh, if you want to beat the game easy, go agility. Uh, <laughs> that is a lesson that I, ha I had to learn the hard way. I just kept getting my ass kicked by dudes with uh, so much more agility. I would like to go back to my strength character, um, maybe restart it. Which, you know, builds into the scoring and all that. Really, really nice thing. Um, but yeah, once you get to the end game, you don't really need to worry about shit. <laughs> you can let your stats go to shit, sit around and eat turkey in uh, the house all day. It'll be wonderful. So wonderful. You'll love it. Yeah, he's going down. He's going down hard. Even though he regens a bunch of stamina when he gets back up, he's just missing his strikes. And then uh, my dude goes in for the kill. It's been like this the entire game because I built agility so much. Just build agility, and then if you're worried about it, take an agility potion. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. It's just a, a performance enhancer, which doesn't show up on the drug test. So, it's convenient, if anything. <laughs> and he's on his ass. Yeah, that's fun. Get another 5,000 bucks. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm the world champion! So friends, Punch Club was a very enjoyable game that I was able to find a couple of blemishes with, but um, overall I think it's replayable, I think it's got a character and a style of its own, um, and I think it's worth taking a look at, especially at the price point, 10 bucks isn't that bad, and Tiny Build does good stuff, uh, they do update their games frequently, so I'd expect to see maybe more content, I hope because I'd really uh, like to get back into this game with a new character and have some some renewed vigor. So without any further ado, I will get into my score breakdown for the gameplay side. I've given the controls an 8 out of 10. They are extremely dialed back, basically just the mouse, but they are serviceable. Fun factor, I've given a 6 out of 10. It is somewhat grindy, and I found myself being disengaged at certain points, especially with the stat atrophy. Uh, aspect of the game it gets a bit frustrating sometimes but uh, still above the average of the 6 out of 10 difficulty I gave it a 9 out of 10 this game is hard especially if you're not playing an agility character you will get your ass kicked uh, so yeah 9 out of 10 for the difficulty replayability I've given an 8 out of 10 there are only three stats to delve into but there are two trees within each stat tree if that makes sense I hope it does um, so yeah replayability is up there I should try a more agility based character like uh, kind of give up my strength one of the abilities in the agility tree was to not have a strength or stamina higher than eight but uh, that seems kind of risky to me <laughs> I don't know uh, the innovation I've given a 7 out of 10 it's like a punch out Tamagotchi I guess is what I call it uh, stat atrophy can definitely be frustrating again, uh, but overall I think it has what it needs to be a great game. Um, right now it is good, uh, basically because it's frustrating and just kind of point and click and okay character does this thing and it's, it's a time management thing but not as much as something like Cook Serve Delicious, uh, if you get where I'm coming from. Anyways, that's the gameplay side. Aesthetic side, we've got the graphics at the 9 out of 10. It is fucking gorgeous. Colorful when it needs to be. Dark and dramatic when it needs to be. Uh, lovely graphics. Tons of color. Amazing style. 9 out of 10. Music, I've given a 7 out of 10. The soundtrack is definitely enjoyable. However, uh, it only has 3 or 4 or 5, 6. Not enough songs and sometimes it does feel a bit too repetitive so that knocks the uh, music down to a 7 out of 10 for me unfortunately the sound effects I've given a 6 out of 10 they are true to form they are retro but quite unimpressive just boop 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 
and yeah, there's there's not much variation to that. <laughs> uh, story I've given the seven out of ten. It is slightly above average. Has nice humor, uh, a few twists in it, but it does little to break the mold as far as I'm concerned. The level design I've given a two out of ten. It basically offers only like technically twelve locations, and while they are pretty, it does leave something to be desired. I do hope the game is expanded upon in the future. To make it a great game right now it's just good really good i i spent 10 hours uh that that tells me that's pretty good so <laughs> the final score for punch club is a 69 out of 100 that is a 3.45 out of five stars three and a half stars pretty damn good getting up there into the above average but uh i need to see a little bit more in order to get there but uh, definitely a great job, oozes style, and it's something I'll probably come back to to try a stamina fighter at some point in the future, or to revamp my, uh, my strength fighter with a little more agility maybe. Anyways, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I do hope you've enjoyed this episode, friends, and if you did, I hope you will like, comment, and or subscribe. And until the next time, bye bye One, two, three, four... Goodbye, goodbye, see you again Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend